hello everyone welcome to my channel if you're new to this channel my name is masi karani and i'm a kenyan content creator based in nairobi kenya so guys i thought of so far we've grown you can't i, I just can't assume we've not grown guys for those who have been here with me since day one you know we've grown we've grown and i just i, I thought of uh, the fact that i just can't assume that you all know me right yeah and that's why today i'm here with a get to know me tag okay um i opted to just check from uh from the internet the uh, common questions th that uh, the common questions which are general yeah for you guys so you guys to know more about me right? so yes i'll get straight into the point because i really don't want this video to be long first question definitely it's what's what's your full name um here on the channel i go by the name masi karani but my full name is karani is my surname so my full name is masi kawira karani kawira is my second name i honest even those i honestly don't use that name uh, I honestly don't use that, that name, yeah? So, Masika Wera Karani, but refer me as Masika Karani. That's enough. Uh, the second one, the second question is, what is your age? I'm 20, turning 24 on 23rd December 2020, 2022. Almost say 2023. I, I'm turning 2024, 20, yeah. Um, what do you like about yourself? Well, um... One thing I, I like about myself is the fact that I'm a very strong woman. I honestly don't think there's something that can shake me. Few things, okay, a few things shake me, but I get up. Like, I'm a very strong woman. That is one thing I love about myself. I'm a very strong woman. Um, the next question is... Uh, do you have any siblings well uh I, I really don't know what what exactly the word sibling uh, mean because am i part of the siblings so let me say this uh i have two sisters we don't have a brother i have two sisters uh yeah so we are three we are three children in our home uh the difference between me and my sister my our second born i'm the first born so the difference between me and the second born is four years then the difference between the second born and the third the third born is 12 years i know right <laughs> yeah so yeah but we're happy because that is our kajunia yeah so what is that bad habit that you are trying to stop honestly a uh, one bad habit about me is the fact that I, I'm really trying to do away with this thing. Eh? The fact that I don't allow people in my life to treat me, to, to, to treat me. Uh, by that I mean, uh, um, for example, I may know you guys are planning a barbecue party for me. And once I know before it happens, I'll go ahead and make it not happen. Because I, I usually feel like, it's a burden and it's never that serious but i think that thing is not good because people will always feel like you're not giving them chance to, to to probably to love you to show you that to show you that they love you and stuff you know but yeah that is one bad thing bad trait i honestly don't like about me and i'm trying my best to it's like to allow people into my life to love me yeah especially those close people those who mean a lot to me yeah um which is your favorite vacation destination uh, definitely it has to be dubai um uh, i just fell in love with dubai the first time i knew i knew this this dubai you know i really can't tell uh that one great thing i like i i like about dubai but one thing i know dubai is my dream destination for now yeah which phone do you currently have honestly um currently my phone is the most expensive thing that i own right now 
Mm, I'm, I'm currently using uh, using Samsung A52. Yeah, I got it from Phone Place Kenya for 41,000 Kenyan shillings. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, but it's really worth it because it helps. Uh, it helps me in shooting. That's all. Yeah, yeah. It's it's worth it. Honestly, I would say it's worth it. Eh? Mm, how many how many boyfriends have you had? Um. Well, I know this is quite funny, but I'd say I've had four boyfriends. So if you're not among the four, we just did not date. Eh? Uh, I've dated Jose, I've dated Jose, I've dated Fred, I've dated Morris, I've dated Charles. So if you're not among the four, we just did not date. Eh? Thank you from management. Uh, the next shame, what is the most too stupid thing that you've done out of love? Hey, come on, come on. I, I think I'm one of those people who would act, you know, but... I'm one of those people who, when I fall, I fall hard, like so bad, so bad. So one of the stupid things that I've done out of love, it's just selling cash to a guy that I was starting to, to like, yeah? We, uh, okay, uh, I would say we had a good vibe, but man, I used my CPA exam money just to send him and I talked with some money that I borrowed from a friend. Guy, 14,000 men, Kenyan shilling. My mom, if my mom can get to see this man. The next question is, what do you like about your life right now? And what do you hate about your life right now? One thing I like about my life right now it's the fact that first of all i'm i'm doing something that i feel like i'm enjoying uh okay uh, youtuber eh? but i wouldn't say it's not a struggle there are days there are days is, um um i don't have the energy to shoot like we're just feeling how you get but as in to me i i, I don't feel like youtube is a, is a struggle for me and i feel uh, right now i'm happy about the fact that I started YouTube because it's something that I really wanted to do and I'm glad I'm glad right now I'm doing it one thing I don't I don't like about my life right now is the fact that I don't have things figured out but um, I'm learning to appreciate where I am because I believe you don't have to have everything figured out and it's still okay to have uh, things scattered to not have your life figured out and stuff so i'm just hoping to be patient as i trust my journey and as i get to see what life has for me because <laughs> if i would tell you guys i thought by 24 years of which i'm turning in like two two months time i thought i would be having a car and i thought i would be having the first keys to my house man but i'm i'm learning i'm learning honestly i appreciate this far that god has taken me because hey man it's been a journey yeah do you uh do you avoid conflict or face it honestly i neither av okay I, I i i both i avoid conflict and at the same time Wait, eh? The question is, do you avoid conflict or face it? I, I, I do not face conflict. I avoid conflict because I'm one person. I don't think I, I can fight. I don't think I can fight because I've never seen my, myself fight. And I can't argue those two, 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 two. Is it argument? Is your cause like, you guys can even start a fight. No, I just can't. So most of the time I... I avoid conflict. My friend can tell you sometimes we, we we start arguing about something and I feel like this is not going the right way and I'm like let's disagree to agree. Let, let's agree to disagree. Yeah, something like that. So mostly I avoid conflict as much as I can. Uh who is the first person you call whenever something happens in your life? 
definitely the first person I call when anything anything happens into my life is definitely my mom. Uh, that woman encourages me like my mom Kai. If I'll get that spirit, the spirit of my mom, there's nothing that will shake me in this life. Because I remember, for example, when um, I, I, it was almost the last minute and I had missed attachment. And that was the first time I almost got into, okay, let me not call it depression. Let me say stress. Because I was like, oh my God, all my friends, I've gotten the attachment and they are yet to start in like three days time. I don't have attachment. I'm not planning to do it after my fourth year. So what am I going to do? So I remember calling my mom and telling her, well, at this point, I feel like nimewezo. And I remember it was on a Thursday. She told me she's in the church. She's church. She's praying and still, uh, and I, uh, I mean, I'm the prayer partners in the church. Uh, like it was an agenda. Man. And can you imagine? I think I got my letter that same, same thing. Honestly, I would say my mom. My mom is the first person I call. That is to things that, you know, you can share with your mom. Otherwise, to things that I can't share with my mom, like the boyfriend stuff, the, you know, the mistakes you do in life and stuff. I mostly call my my squad and a few a few friends. Yeah. Uh what is your ideal type of man? So well, um uh, I feel like in life there's no such thing as defining someone, but there are just things that you just can't take. Like we are different. There are things that you just can't take. Personally I feel like I want someone who is honest with me. Uh, okay, uh, 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 an ideal uh, type of a man, uh, my ideal type of a man would be an honest man, a man that knows God. You don't have to be 100% in church, but at least you know, acknowledge, you know and acknowledge, but at least you know and acknowledge God. Uh, you're honest, you know, and acknowledge God. Of course you love me and definitely a man with dreams as in you, you you're dreaming like you're dreaming atakama sometimes in life you keep dreaming depending on where you get i feel like your steps are kind of motivation to you when it comes to dreaming that is my how i feel like eh? because two years ago i couldn't dream of the things i'm dreaming right now and the last thing he has to be a he has to be clean and neat like you, you just can't be you just can't be smelling like a sheep eh? just be, be neat i feel like those are just basic yeah what is uh i, I mean the last question actually what is the best moment in, in your life best moment in my life has definitely to do with uh, after my form four and uh, after my form four when results came out and for those who have been watching my channel um i said the, I, I have a video that i said about my experience with working with relatives so that time after the results three days later or, or so i went home and when i went home my dad was so happy he was so excited i would say he was proud of me that i passed and he hugged me that was but i feel like that that's that moment is so special to me every time i think about it it's so fresh in my mind and as an african parent hug like hugging your daughter and not like the father daughter hug you know it's like you know yeah and i, I felt like of course i was shy but that meant a lot to me like i was so you're so proud of me you're so happy you know yeah so that was my best that that is still my best moment up to now i've never i've not gotten a moment that uh outdid that moment yeah so guys basically that's it for now in case you have any any other question you can ask on the comment section I, i'll i'll be sure to answer you and if you have watched up to this far 
and you've liked the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed please don't forget to subscribe support me subscription is just free okay yeah so until next time guys bye